Deep beneath the bustling streets of Auckland City, a $5.5 billion transport project is underway. This is the City Rail Link Tunnel, and we get an exclusive look at all that's been going on underground. The 3.4 kilometre twin tunnel is set to transform the current Waitamata station in Fritomart into a two-way through station to better connect the city's rail network. With the heavy construction over and the architectural fit-out underway, City Rail Link boss Sean Sweeney says they're about two-thirds the way to completion. This is our first section of railway that looks uh, almost completed. We've got the track, we've got the power, and we've got the cable runs. They haven't got the cables in yet, but they'll be drag being dragged through in the next few months. As the largest transport infrastructure project to ever be undertaken in New Zealand, the CRL will allow the current rail network to at least double in capacity. That's up to 54,000 passengers an hour at peak times. That's the equivalent of 16 lanes of highway being run into the middle of town. For commuters. A redeveloped Mangafo station in Mount Eden will connect through to new underground stops, one at Karanga Ahapi Road and then through to Midtown at Wellesley and Victoria Street. This is the construction site of one of the three stations being built at 44 metres underground. And behind me, the biggest escalators in the southern hemisphere are set to be installed shortly. The project hasn't gotten away without copying some criticism mainly over budget blowouts and its yet-to-be-confirmed completion date. And while most of the constructions being done underground, work above has caused notable disruption, particularly in the city centre. We're in the top uh, level of the of Waihoratu Station. Waihoratu Station is the station that goes under Albert Street between uh, Wallasey Street and Victoria Street. And we can actually see <laughs> the building's Building right there. above us, so yeah. it's, it's literally just right on top of us. Yeah, one of the big uh, challenges on this has been the uh, disruption to the local businesses, and that's something we've had to work through, the sponsors have had to work through very closely with um, CRL. And we have a scheme in place, a hardship fund, to try and relieve some of the challenges uh, for the businesses. This does have a big, uh, big challenge for them, uh, how they operate, and stopping people wanting to come in there. So it's something we've dealt with. From dodging lava flows to building through a live fault line, the CRLs encountered some unique hurdles along the way. And that doesn't even include the logistical challenges. How do you get some of the materials in and out here? I mean, we've seen diggers and cranes and all sorts of things down here. Well, they're brought in by truck often at night, because uh, some, some of the big plants, you have to close off the streets to do it. Uh, do as much out of hours as you can. All the excavation material was all taken to one point from here and taken out from there. Um, a lot of planning, a lot of planning and thinking through uh, right down to daily planning about what's going to be done and how to make it work. The project's on track to be done by November 2025 when it's handed over to Auckland Transport and Kiwi Rail. It'll then need to undergo extensive testing, meaning commuters shouldn't expect the CRL to be up and running until 2026 or later. To have permission to operate a live railway, you need almost as many sign-offs as you do to run an air aircraft. Um, and the number of tests, the number of different uh, conditions that you have to plan and demonstrate for uh, are very complex. Um, and so that work just has to start and it requires a, a lot of electronics to be all working in the right way. And um, if anyone's ever tried to plug their home stereo together, there's always something that doesn't quite work and you just have to uh, uh, get a tech guy in to sort it out for you. And that's the next big challenge for us. And just like that, we're back above ground, smack bang in the middle of the city. Now, our three kilometre journey by foot did take a little while, but it will take commuters under 10 minutes once trains are up and running. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.